Hey everyone and welcome to the Google AdWords training. In this tutorial, I encourage you to watch this first to learn some of the commonly used terms that we will be using throughout the training videos and be referring to so that you're up to speed on the different language that we might be using and the abbreviations. Instead of having to define those every video that we uh, record, this is something that you can hold on to, print out, we'll have a link with this video on our site so that you can obtain this. This is straight from Google, defining their terms, and uh, this will really be helpful as you're, as I refer to these abbreviations or terms throughout the course. Uh, anything that might not be covered here, um, you're also welcome to just Google those as well. Uh, Google has great forms, support forms, and you can see I did it right here, click-through rate AdWords. I searched that, that's one of the terms that's on the sheet and you can see all kinds of results come up on Google to help define that and help you understand what it is. We'll also be happy to help at our support form any questions that you might have, so let us know. So let's get started. Um, first term is keyword. This is essentially what people use to search to find your ad. So I use the example bicycle. Bicycle is the keyword. These are the ads that come up. Uh, keyword phrase is, is a longer tail, meaning bicycle water bottle. So that's a three word phrase. That would be called a keyword phrase. Um, same deal. It's something that someone searches to get and then your ad will come up based on the relevancy to the keywords used there. Uh, placement, ad placement, we're gonna get into that. Basically, here are the paid ads down the right hand side. Sometimes you'll see a pink bar up here and these range from uh, position one down to 11 I believe per page and so your ad placement means going from top to bottom where are you where's your ad showing this is placement one placement two placement three campaign and ad group I have my campaign open you'll get one of these started campaign is essentially where all is the umbrella of your um, everything that you're going to be putting into the Google AdWords your ads and your keywords fall underneath the campaign. So that's the highest level. For us, we did a campaign recently on Central PA Real Estate. That's our campaign. And here are all the ad groups that fall underneath Central PA because they're all cities of Central PA, Camp, Camp Hill and Carlisle and Dauphin. So these all have their own ads and also their own keywords as well that are relevant to Camp Hill. Impressions are the amount of times that your ads will show for a given search term. So bicycle water bottle, anytime that's searched and an ad shows up, this counts as an impression for all these companies here that are advertising. And to show you our previous campaign with Central PA Real Estate, we had 3,449 impressions, 123 clicks, with a click-through rate of 3.57%, which is excellent. As long as you can get from anywhere from 2% and above is really good. That's an ideal range to aim for. And uh, basically what click-through rate is, uh, the amount of clicks that you get on an ad divided by the impressions that you have. So times 100. So we had, it's 123 divided by the 3,449 times 100 gives us 3.57%. And uh, a click is when somebody actually clicks on an ad. So if I were to click this, which I won't because I would charge them, and take me to their website, that counts as a click. Cost per click is something that you assign or bid. It's a bid on a keyword. So you're gonna have to pay a certain amount for each keyword that you wanna rank for. The more you pay, the better you rank in your ad position. And that's something that will be set within your campaign and we'll show you how to do that. So a cost per click is how much it costs for someone to click on your ad for that specific keyword that was searched. Maximum cost per click is the maximum that you will set that you'll pay for that specific keyword and that can be set again within your campaign. That's the absolute highest you would want to go in a term. Quality score is something that Google really defi defines on their own. It's going to be based on your relevance. So in a nutshell, you want to have keywords that are highly related to the ad copy that you have and ad copy which is highly related to both the keywords 
and the website that you're directing people to. You don't want to advertise, you don't want to have uh, bicycle water bottles when your keywords have a great ad that talks about bicycle water bottles and then take you to a site that's about anything but bicycle water bottles. So you want to make sure that everything is really related and re relevant as possible so that Google sees that your keywords are closely matched to your ads which are closely matched to your website. If you do those things and uh, you know you continue to manage your campaign you'll have a great quality score. Let's see here. Now first page bid estimates. Google is going to give you their estimate of what it'll take, what you would need to pay for a specific keyword to land on the first page. As I was showing here, here's all the paid ads. And these can go on for pages. So Google will show 11 results and this is the first page. And this is, will be the second page, meaning ads will also fall on this page. Uh, some of the top performers will show up again at the top and then it'll fill in some of the uh, other ads that didn't show on the first page. So first page bid estimate is what Google estimates it will take for you to get on that first page. You must almost always have to bid higher. The good news is though as you go on and Google finds you to be really relevant and have good uh, ad copy, your costs will go down eventually. And then optimization refers to a uh, process of really just creating editing keywords and ad text and finding the best ways to make your uh, campaign perform better and we'll show you little things to tweak and change as you go to get the highest uh, click-through rate and best quality score that is possible. Um, conversion rates essentially will be how how are your leads that are landing on your site converting? Are you getting sign-ups to your email lists or whatever you might be directing them to? I uh, want to make sure that should cover most of the stuff. Other things that are defined or or that we get into, uh, there's separate videos for those. So those are the most frequently used terms that will be thrown out there. And uh, hopefully that will help to clear some confusion. Let us know again if there's anything that we didn't cover or that you have more questions on. We can always make this a running list and add more as we go.